Hi everyone. I just wanted to go over the directions for the Advent Link Chain project that was sent home today. Your child should have brought home a baggie. Inside that baggie you should have had some red strips, about 12 red strips, and about 12 green strips. You also should have had a gold star. You should have had a piece of paper with some activities on it, uh, with dates and different activities listed, and you should have had a handwritten instruction sheet uh, included in that baggie. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a chain where you can count down the days till Christmas beginning with the first Sunday of Advent. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take and cut your little activities out one by one um, with the date intact, don't lose the date. Um, I just, I pre-cut most of these, but just so you can see, we're just gonna cut them out. Um, I left mine long, you can cut yours in half if you think that there's too much extra material in there. So once you get all those cut out, you wanna keep them in date order so that you can put them on your strips. Now, when you put them on your strips, you're gonna glue them to one side of the strip. I like to alternate mine red, green. You can do it however you like. You wanna do two red, a green, two green, a red, all green, then all red, however you wanna do it, whatever. It's your chain, you do it the best way you can. And what I like to do is I just like to glue the strip right on my piece of paper. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the paper, like so, take my strip, and glue it down there you go that's all you're gonna do and I'm gonna do that on a red as well glue it down get a strip make sure that I'm doing it the correct way and if you make a mistake just change it out make sure that you have them in order I like I said I like to do mine alternating so I need to make sure that I have the correct colors for the strips and finally my last piece. All right. Now you can see that I have a bunch of strips that are glued with my little activities on them every single day. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna begin to link the chains. So the easiest thing I think to do is actually to use a stapler to connect it. If you wanna use glue, that's fine. I've had some kids in the past who have said the glue works easier. I think it's quicker to do the strips. And we're just gonna make a link. So we're gonna start with our first one, which is December 2nd for this year, which is our first Sunday of Advent. And we're gonna make a circle. The activity goes on the inside of the ring, so you can't really read it. And then I'm just gonna staple. This is where it gets important to make sure that you have everything in date order. So I started with December 2nd. My next one would be December 3rd. I'm just gonna link it through and continue all the way. December 3rd, this helps a lot if you've already got your strips in order and all you have to do is pick them up. Now, the strips are a little bit on the long side. If you want to cut your strips um, and make them shorter, by all means, please do. For some reason, the um, strips, I did them a little bit longer this year than I normally do, but that's okay. Um, so just continue linking your chain. You're gonna be getting a nice looking chain there. 6th, December 7th. Um, and the purpose of this activity was something I started years ago, uh, just in place of an Advent wreath. Um, this was something that my kids did when they were in second grade, um, and I was teaching their class. And we made this link chain, and they had a great time every single morning opening, tearing off a link, reading the activity, and doing the activity until they got all the way to Christmas Day. Um, there's various activities on there from lighting candles on your advent wreath to making cookies for a neighbor, being nice to someone that you don't like, um, just different ones. I kind of change them up every year a little bit, add some new ones, take out some old ones, move some things around. Um, and like I said, this will start the first Sunday of Advent, which this year would be December 2nd. Um, it's not a countdown day calendar. It's a countdown for Advent. Um, some years we have a few more strips than others. This year we have starting December 2nd all the way through till Christmas Day on December 25th. And I'll show you what we do when we get down to the end. I'm about halfway right now. I'm on December 13th. You can see how quickly this is coming together once they're all glued um, to just staple it. It goes super fast when you staple it. You can glue it, like I said. I prefer to staple. I think that makes it go a little bit quicker. Um, especially when we um, are doing this in class. We did used to do this project in class years ago, but what was happening was it was taking so long to glue on the strips and kids were getting frustrated because they were losing dates 
and we had a lot of frustration. So um, about five years ago, I started sending this project home and making it more of an Advent family project, and it was very well received, um, and the kids really enjoyed doing something with their families at home. Brothers can help, sisters can help, moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, whatever you want. Um, keep going. I'm uh, almost done here. I'm on December 20th. Oops. If you drop the strip, just make sure that you are on the right date. I got December 20th here. I'm just going to keep going. I got about four more strips to go, and then I'll show you the next step. Um, I've always sent these directions home. I've never done a video before, but I had a lot of questions, and so I thought this would be a good way to kind of get the information out to everybody all at one time, and you could watch me make the string and then see what it looked like. December 23rd, and finally December 24th. So now I have a string that's got links on it from December 2nd all the way through December 24th, and you can see I have a pretty long chain here. And that's my, my Advent link chain. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our star. And you can decorate this star any way you like. I will show you what I did with mine. I kinda made mine a little fancy. I put some glitter along the outside. I put 25 in glitter in the middle. Um, you can use stickers, you can use uh, colors, you can color it, you can do anything you want, or you can leave it plain. Um, this signifies Christmas Day. When they get to that star on Christmas Eve, they know that the next day is going to be Christmas morning. This star actually gets attached to the link that says December 24th, um, which is Christmas Eve, and we say celebrate by going to Mass. And so I just take the star, and I just put it kind of at the top, and again, I staple right through, and there's my loop chain. All done. You can see it's pretty long. Um, what I would suggest you do is you take and put this somewhere where the kids are gonna see it every single morning. My kids used to love to put it over their bed, right next to their bed, actually, and every morning they would wake up, and what you do is you just tear off a link, you read the activity, you do the activity, and then later on that day you reflect on what you did. As I said, some of the activities are pretty simple. Um, I'll just read some of them to you right now just so you kind of get an idea. Um, we have lighting the first candle on your Advent wreath. If you have an Advent wreath in your house, this is a great thing to do as a family. Um, send a Christmas card to a soldier. That's a great family project that you could do. Um, other ones say, say a prayer for world peace. Really simple activity they can do first thing in the morning. Um, light second candles. Be nice to someone you don't like. Clean your room without being asked. Um, some of the other ones are baking cookies for local firemen um, and policemen uh, in, our, in our cities. And then take them to them the next day. Believe me, they appreciate that. I'm married to a firefighter, and they love it when the kids come by with cookies. Um, wrapping presents, lighting four candles, and of course, attending Mass together on Christmas Eve. So I hope that you and your family have a great time making this project. Please do finish the project. Um, and if you like, go ahead and send me a picture of it. We can put it on our Shutterfly site. Um, enjoy making the project. Happy Advent, um, and many blessings to you as we enter this joyous season.